I feel like Gap, Banana Republic, all of them have a sale on every time I walk past them. They do, um, and I think that uh, Peck departing, this is something that's been a long time coming. Uh, he has been in this role, he was named to it in 2014, uh, stepped into the job in 2015. That's a really long time to orchestrate a turnaround. And this company, frankly, has just been a game of retail whack-a-mole, where you know one brand is functioning okay, they solve, uh, and then uh, problems rear their head at another brand, they solve the problems at that brand, problems rear their head at another one. He just has never been able to get this brand the, uh, this stable of brands in a place where the merchandise is looking good, they're not having to rely on those promotional discounts, and they're back to a place of consistently taking market share. And so I think uh, a leadership change is for the best for this company. Sarah, I think you and I have talked about that, but what's up with that? Why can't the, why isn't the merchandise better? Yeah, so I, I think there's a case to be made that they got rid of some creative directors at various different times over Art Peck's uh, tenure in the CEO job, and that in doing that, there's just never really been stable leadership uh, trying to figure out what their vision should be aesthetically. Um, and so I think they've just never really arrived at one. And so the clothes have been boring, they haven't been particularly stylish, and they just haven't settled on an aesthetic that's winning with a younger customer. Um, they've also had some more prosaic business problems, like they had uh, they overordered a whole bunch of inventory uh, last year that really created some problems for their balance sheet. Just sort of that uh, kind of operations 101 stuff that is uh, less the art of merchandising and more uh, the science of running a business. Um, but all of those problems have sort of added up to a lot of trouble at Gap. So, Sarah, in announcing this uh, move with Art Peck, in that press release, they also gave guidance for those third quarter results that they're supposed to report in a couple of weeks. It looks like they're basically coming in well below what the street was expecting. This is going to be like the fourth straight quarter where they've missed estimates. I, when I was searching for this press release, the very next press release on the Bloomberg Wire was from them announcing some blowout 50% off sale, <laughs> three-day extended Black Friday sale, and something called Shock of a Dollar not dollar, oh, gosh. sale, uh, where you get socks for $1. How do you then start beating Wall Street estimates, adding to profitability, adding to EBITDA, if you're selling socks for $1? Yeah, I mean, this is just, they uh, that's the only trick in their book right now, right, is to fire up the promotional confetti cannon. And uh, it's a way to get traffic, but it's a cheap way to get traffic. It hurts your profitability, and it makes consumers see you as only a place for discounts, not a place for inspiration or trends. And they have just gotten uh, stuck on this merry-go-round for so long where that's the only way, the only tool they have in their toolkit uh, for getting people in the door, and that's really problematic. I think also, you know, earlier this year, Peck had explicitly promised that we would see improvement by Q3 and Q4 um, as they worked through these inventory problems I mentioned earlier. And you clearly see in these numbers they pre-reported today uh, that that didn't materialize. Mm. Um, and the other thing I think that's really concerning is you see those Old Navy results that they pre-reported. Uh, Old Navy has been sort of the shining star of this retail empire for a long time. It's been carrying the water uh, while Gap and Banana have struggled. Now with Old Navy reporting negative comps for I believe the third quarter in a row, you have to ask yourself, this is not just a blip in the radar, uh, something's going wrong there too. And so I had wondered, you know, Gap announced earlier this year it's going to split into two. Uh, Old Navy is going to become a standalone company and everything else, Gap, Old Navy, and some of the smaller brands like Athleta right. uh, are going to become a separate company. I had wondered if that was the moment for uh, a, a CEO transition and uh, it looks like it, it, that moment has finally arrived.